You know, whether I'm wrong or I'm right, I gotta tell you, the Lure Cigar Company has definitely stepped up where other cigar places maybe haven't. I did a review not too long ago about Lure Cigars, and I, I mentioned that I had an issue that I thought may have been construction. And then, after talking with many people who had the same cigar, they said, uh, yeah, I think it's you. I think uh, there's something you're doing wrong there, and it may have been me. I mean, I, I did a mea culpa quickly because I have been wrong before and it will happen again. That said, uh, I mentioned it and it got back to the owner of, uh, of Lure Cigars. They wanted to make it right, starting with some stickers, a nice little note, and a replacement cigar. Now, I don't know what happened to the other one that I was smoking other than it got smoked, but I can tell you this one in comparison, and it's the same one, I'm telling you, I got just the weirdest, you know, odd thing. These things happen sometimes, you know, shipment issues, blizzards, the post office. So this new cigar uh, that I got sent uh, is really, really good. First off, let's talk about the construction because that was the main issue that I had last time. And the construction on this is... Well, it's flawless, I gotta say. Uh, I can't see a single mark or pock or anything on this on this leaf. Uh, it has a consistent burn line. Um, you can kind of tell with the smoke what kind of construction you're looking at. If you know how to do that, basically it's, if it gives you a steady line of smoke, like in a in windless environment, you know you got something going on there. Um, that's not the only measure of construction. That is a measure of construction. And measure of construction. No, it's it's a measure of construction. And a is a measure of construction. But ultimately, the ultimate measure of the ultimate construction is whether or not it tastes good and the flavor is consistent. Uh, it could taste bad and the flavor be consistent and that, that maybe that isn't construction. So maybe it's just, is is the flavor, what am I trying to say? Ultimately, it comes down to, is the flavor consistent? Is the construction consistent? Is the burn consistent? Is your ash going to come off at a in a predictable time or when you want it to really, which is when it should happen. Nobody wants your ash getting loose. I've often been told I have no ash. While I'm enjoying this delightful cigar, this is a good opportunity to talk about something. If you're ever in your local shop and you're having an issue with your cigar, say it's becoming unraveled or it's flaking off, let's not talk about taste. That's a, that's a, that's a subjective thing. It's not really an objective thing. You need objective things in order to do what I'm about to tell you to do. So it's no subjective. So nothing that's subjective, only objective things. If you don't know the difference, if you can see it, and it is a thing, it's objective, but if you, it's your opinion, it's subjective. That makes sense? So if there's something objectively wrong with a cigar, say it's flaking off, it's unraveling, uh, it's crunchy, you know, things like overhumidified, spongy, go directly to the owner or the manager or whomever of your, of your smoke shop and say, hey, this cigar is messed up and see what they do. Let them, give them a chance to give you good customer service. I always say that if you don't give somebody a chance to give good customer service, you really shouldn't expect it. Um, so like in this case, Lou going above and beyond with uh, Lure Cigars and sending me a brand new stick and some swag to go with it because, you know, we, we cigar smokers love swag. That um, is great customer service, which is well above and beyond anything else that I could expect from any cigar company. So what I'm trying to say is basically, if you have something wrong with your cigar, mention it and give those people the chance to make whatever's wrong right. And in this case, with the Lure Cigar, the Big Lou, I got to tell you, they've, they've done well. And as you can see by the ash, it's already much better. Well, I didn't show you the last time, but... It, it, it's it, this is a much better cigar than the last one I had, and I think the last one I had was just a one-off. It may have been messed up during shipment, like I said. I mean, we we did have a couple of snowfalls that 
that week. And it did come from, like, Arizona. I don't know. Either way, this cigar is very, very good. It is an Oscuro. Uh, I would highly recommend you trying one if you haven't already. Uh, the Lure Cigar, and uh, you probably won't find them in your brick and mortar. You're probably going to have to find them online at your uh, luxury retailers. But uh, for a luxury cigar, this is very inexpensive. Uh, $11 is what I've been seeing around, uh, 11 12 bucks, and that is a good price point for this. I would, I would pay 11 12 bucks for this cigar, give you about an hour's worth of enjoyment, which is what you would expect for that kind of cigar. Uh, and one thing I want you to remember whenever you're smoking a cigar is that you're the only one who will ever experience that cigar. Now, granted, you can have similar blends. You could have all of them from the same, you know, uh, same batch, but the roller may get tired on the next cigar or was especially, especially, especially funky that day. They were really excited that day, and they got their first cigar out, and that was the one you smoked. But whatever the case may be, there's so many nuances that can happen in a cigar that the one you're smoking is the last one there will ever be of that one cigar. Think about that. Let that cook your noodle for a little while. Until then, we'll catch you later.